Out of all the cancers out there in men, there are three that if you do some simple screening tests, we can significantly reduce your risk of dying. In this video, we're gonna go over what you can do to check for prostate, colon, and lung cancer, and when it's right for you. The first cancer we're gonna talk about is prostate cancer. In the United States in 2021, there will be an estimated 250,000 cases diagnosed with over 34,000 deaths, and the rate keeps going up. It is the most common cancer in men, but even with the amount of men that are affected, this has been a difficult cancer to know how to approach. The recommendations for screening for it have been evolving over time. In the past, everybody got a blood test called the PSA, or the Prostate Specific Antigen, and the highly anticipated rectal exam. However, over time, we found that we're finding a lot of cancers that were very slow growing and may not have done anything to you. But because we found it, there was a lot of tests and procedures and even operations performed that may have been causing more problems than we're solving. But unfortunately, there isn't a foolproof way to screen for prostate cancer. However, there are some things that you can do to help assess one's risk for having it, and it should be an option that you as a patient should be given. Most societies recommend that you discuss with your doctor the pros and cons of getting screened. If you elect to get screened, then you should get a PSA every year, with or without that digital rectal exam. Now, when you do it, it depends on your risk. For those who are of average risk, you should start at age 50. But if you're black or have a father or brother who was diagnosed before the age of 65, then you should start at age 45. If you are at high risk, which would include if you have several family members who have been diagnosed before the age of 65, then you should start screening at age 50. So talk to your doctor about the best way for you to be screened for prostate cancer. The next one we're gonna talk about is colon cancer. Colon cancer can be deadly. Approximately 140,000 people in the United States are diagnosed with colon cancer every year. And with that, over 50,000 people will die. One of the biggest problems with colon cancer is that it usually doesn't have any significant symptoms until the cancer is much more advanced. That statistic that I just shared is good evidence of that. Out of the 140,000 people diagnosed with it, one third are likely to die from it. That's why it's so important to do some sort of screening. When we make recommendations for screening for colon cancer, we divide patients into two categories, those that are high risk and those that are at average risk. High risk patients are those who have certain genetic conditions and those with a strong family history. Now we consider a strong family history as a sibling or parent who has had colon cancer. If you're high risk, you should get a colonoscopy at least 10 years before the age when your family member was diagnosed with colon cancer or 45 to 50, whichever is earlier. If you find yourself in this category, then you need to be talking to your doctor about when and how you should be screened. For those who are at average risk, newer recommendations are trending towards starting screening at age 45. Other societies are still recommending age 50, so check with your doctor and your insurance company to see what is right for you and what they'll cover. Screening can include testing your stool for blood every year, doing a DNA test to your stool every three years, CT colonography every five years, doing a flexible sigmoidoscopy where they examine the last half of your colon every five years, or getting a colonoscopy where they examine your entire colon every 10 years. All these tests are felt to be effective. Now there are certain pros and cons of each, so talk with your doctor about what test is best for you. For most, once you get past the age of 75, it's a good time to talk to your doctor about whether you can stop screening. So basically if you're between the age of 45 and 50 and older, or you have a family history of colon cancer, you need to be asking your doctor about when and how they recommend you be screened. One of the newer recommendations that's come out over the past few years is screening for lung cancer. Those who this applies to are current or prior smokers who have had at least a 30 pack year history of smoking. Now a pack year is a term that we use to describe how much smoking you've done over your lifetime. A 30 pack year history would be an average of a pack a day for 30 years. So if you're smoking two packs a day, if you do the math, that only takes you 15 years to have the same smoking exposure, giving you a 30 pack year history. So if you have smoked for that long and are currently smoking, or if you've quit within the past 15 years, you would fall into this category. If you're in otherwise good health, then between the ages of 55 and 74, then you should talk to your doctor about getting a low dose CT scan once a year. Now this is a fancy x-ray where they lay you on a table, run you through a scan to look for early evidence of changes in lung cancer. This isn't for everybody and it's not without its own risk, so it should be discussed with your doctor so to see if it is appropriate for you. So believe it or not, among all the cancers that are out there, those are the ones that we're able to do early screening for in men. 
The problem is, is we don't have great tools to consistently and accurately go looking for them in everybody. So the best advice I can give on catching other cancers early is pay attention to your body. If something is changing on you, if you don't feel right, if you have pain or something else that isn't going away or getting worse, then go in and get it checked out. Cancer certainly is not a diagnosis that anybody wants to fight, nor is it a diagnosis that I look forward to giving. So by taking these simple steps to get appropriate screening and by paying attention to changes in your body, you can have the best chance of catching these cancers before they can cause a big problem. So if you haven't already done them, get to your doctor now and get screened. Well, thanks for spending these few minutes with us and learning a little more on how you can take charge of your health. Here at Family Med, we are passionate about helping you be informed so that you can make the right decisions for you and your family. So as we part, we want to wish you well in your health journey, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.